Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In a very special episode today, we are going to be learning how to make vegetable lumpia. But before we get started, I need your help. In the comments below, tell me what your favorite Filipino snack is. In an upcoming video, I will be reacting to these snacks. Today, I will share with you the recipe that I use to make vegetable lumpia. For one batch of lumpia, you will need one cup of chopped jicama, one cup of chopped or julienne green beans, a half a cup of carrots, and a half a cup of onions, both chopped or julienne, two tablespoons of minced garlic, a cup of shredded cabbage, a splash of butter oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce or oyster sauce. Before we get started, if you like the content on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it and it will help me reach more people in the YouTube community. To get started, I put a splash of oil in my pan and put it on medium heat. Once the temperature is right, I add two heaping tablespoons of garlic, and then I add my onions and carrots to the mixture. I allow that to simmer for a minute, and then I stir it up mixing in the flavors until you get a good aromatic smell coming from your garlic and onions. I then add a cup of my jicama, and then I add a cup of green beans. At this point, I add my sauces and seasoning. First, I start with two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. I changed from oyster sauce to teriyaki sauce so that vegans could also enjoy lumpia. I then added two tablespoons of soy sauce and then I added pepper. I did not want to add additional salt because soy sauce is salty enough. While still simmering, I wanted to go ahead and incorporate all of the ingredients together, so I mixed it thoroughly and allowed it to simmer some more. Finally, I added some cabbage. Another ingredient you could possibly add to vegetable lumpia is bean sprouts. That adds a really great crunch when you bite into your lumpia. I continue to incorporate the ingredients together by mixing it in the pan. I also allow it to simmer, but I don't want to overcook it because if I do, it will lose that crunch when it cooks inside the lupia wrapper. At this point, you would want to taste a little bit of it to make sure that the flavor is there. If the flavor is all there, go ahead and scrape it to the side of the pan so it's easily transferred into a bowl. Because we make a lot of lumpia at the same time, I went ahead and time lapse the rest of the batches for you so that you can see my entire process. When it comes to wrapping, I like these spring roll shells the best. They typically fry up nice and crispy and hold together well when wrapping. Here is my typical setup when it comes to my wrapping station. I have my shells in front of me. I have a little bowl with some mixed egg for sealing my shells. I have the filling for my lumpia. I have a tray where I put my finished lumpia and I have my caffeine. Today it's not caffeine, but it is a Filipino favorite. It's a can of Sarsi. When wrapping vegetable lumpia, you wanna be extra careful. Vegetable lumpia filling can be a lot more moist than your typical lumpia filling, and so it will soak through your wrapper more quickly than usual. To begin, position the lumpia wrapper diagonally in front of you. Place a tablespoon of filling in the bottom corner of the lumpia wrapper. Fold the bottom corner over that filling, tuck it in, and roll it towards the middle, stopping at the middle. I have also covered these steps in the beef version on how to make lumpia, but I position my hand very deliberately so that it is the length that I want the lumpia. I fold over my pointer finger from one corner, place my pinky, fold over the pinky, and I then roll it up and tuck in the sides. I continue to roll all the way through 
grab a little dab of egg and finish the roll and add egg on the other side to seal it. So if you that missed it, we're gonna do it one more time. The beef version of this video is listed in the description below. Position your lumpia wrapper diagonally in front of you. Place a tablespoon of lumpia filling inside the wrapper at the bottom corner. Fold the bottom corner up over your filling, tucking and rolling at the same time to the middle of the wrapper. Pull one corner of the wrapper over your pointer finger, pull the other side over your pinky finger, and continue to roll. Tuck in the edges and continue to roll, adding a dab of egg at the top corner to seal the wrapper. Flip the wrapper over and seal the top and place it in your pile and move on to your next one. I have also time-lapsed this one for you as well. Cooking instructions are exactly the same as the beef. Put a half an inch of oil in your pan Bring it to medium heat, drop in a tester lumpia, allow it to sizzle and finish cooking, and then add your first batch of lumpia in your pan. You know they are done when they are a beautiful golden brown color. Oh, there you have it. This is my recipe for vegetable lumpia. You can adjust it and make it your own. Want to see more? Subscribe here to my YouTube channel and turn on the notifications so you are notified every time I drop a video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all the latest updates and paintings. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.